I'm Chris, and today we're going to make a mini sawdust stove. Let's do this real quick. A few things you want to get. The size of your can is going to vary the length of the burn time. It might even vary the intensity of the heat. It's something to experiment with and play around with. You want a drill bit, a couple drill bits. You want to get a couple dowels. This is just from an old shovel that broke. What I'm going to do with these dowels is stick one in the middle, and then I'm going to have another one in the side here to create like a hole and a chimney effect. So you want to get a drill bit the size of your dowel. Or at least a step up bit. I think that's what this is called. I'm not sure. Either way, this makes a bigger hole. Or you can do it the cheap way and, you know, abuse your bits a little. But we'll go over that. So the first thing we're going to do is drill a hole in the side here. And that's really the only thing we have to do. I've experimented with putting holes at the top here. It, it's something you can play around with and have fun with. Now go ahead and take your dowel and try to figure out where the center of your hole should be. It just has to be a rough idea. Be careful doing this. Wear the proper eye protection and safety gloves if you need. This stuff can get sharp. Once you have the initial hole drilled, you want to enlarge the hole for the size of the dowel that you're using. Now the dowel doesn't quite fit in here, so this is where I'm going to abuse my bit a little bit. I don't recommend doing this, but you have to work with what you have. Now once you have that enlarged by whatever means necessary, and your dowel fits in there pretty good, move on to the next step. And now, you want to grab some sawdust. Now what I usually do is put the dowel in the middle first, and insert the one on the side. Get it, you know, as close to center as you can, and then I start pouring sawdust in. I pour enough in there so that the dowel stands up on its own. And then what you want to do is with another dowel, just kind of compact it in. Make sure everything's nice and tight in there and compact that sawdust. And you just keep repeating that until you fill it up to the level that you want. And that's usually about where I stop. Now if you want to do like a long term storage for this thing or if you want to take it with you on a hiking or camping trip, I would make this dowel pretty much flush with the top of the can and then you could reuse the lid and kind of keep everything in there, tape it up, rubber band it up, whatever you, you need to do to keep that secure. But when I take this out, I kind of, I kind of wiggle the dowel around, get it loose, and I do the same thing for the bottom one and take it out. I do it slowly because I don't want everything to collapse on me. And that should leave you with a nice hole on the inside. Should give you a hole on the side too. And that's pretty compact. You might have to, you know, make a little room in there. But that, that that's basically it. We'll cover it up for a minute and we'll, we'll go burn it. And you can pretty much see that the, the air is going to flow through here. And then flow through the top and give you a nice chimney effect. Next we're going to collect a little bit of pine sap from our pine tree to help get our fire started. You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. And you can see how you get that chimney effect going. You let that burn for a little bit, and then you can put whatever you want on top. Once you get a nice flame at the top, you're ready to go. Now you could drill holes at the top of your can to allow for some airflow. I'm just going to use some tent stakes just to give me a little bit of a gap there so everything can flow and move. And I'm just going to put my container right on top and let that cook. If you feel like your fire isn't hot enough, just add a little bit more fuel to the bottom. Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Definitely share this video with your friends and don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Go find that button and click it 
so you're notified when my new videos come out. Thank you guys again.